Getting views on your content is what we all want to experience as a content creator and as a business owner. But if you are like me, you have started to experience this year and probably late last year where your views just started to plummet. Like you just are not experiencing as much engagement as you were. Your content is just not doing well. And so today on the King Kelly podcast, I want to talk to you about the strategy that we have been uh, doing and changing in our content to get more views not to mention my mindset around all of that. Welcome to the Kia Kelly podcast, because that's me. Every single week, we will be here talking about business, marketing your business, as well as life and anything that can throw at us. Because one thing I know is, is that when I've been building my business, I am involved in my business. And so I like to help people understand what it all is going to take to build a successful business and have a balanced life. And so here on the podcast, some of the days you're going to absolutely love me. And then other days you're going to want to throw me away with the trash because you don't want to be bothered with me. But either way, you're going to get your whole life together when you're here on this podcast. So I encourage you to grab your tea and grab your coffee because the Ken Kelly podcast is here. So welcome back to another episode of the King and Kelly podcast, where we talk about all things marketing, marketing your business, and of course, having a balanced life. And today we are in February, happy Black History Month. Shout out to black creators and black business owners. A shout out to us this month. Um, But today we're talking about ways to get more views on your content in 2024. Now, I will start this off by saying that I recognize that we are all really busy, that you have you, you have your personal life, you have your business. If you're still working full time, then you have that. And so there is a lot going on all the time already. I will say that I completely understand. I have a lot going on. You know, I know me personally, I had that huge surgery at the end of November. Then I had to go on a healing journey. I'm still healing. Like my body is still healing in so many different ways that I cannot explain. Uh, But then there was, I still had a business, whether I was in surgery or not, uh, then trying to balance my hormones. And then I had a trip to Puerto Rico, which sounds fancy, but it was all business the entire time time. I was not out doing anything like I wasn't at the beach or anything like that. So it was all business to travel there, to travel back. As soon as I got back home, I found out I had COVID and because I had was fresh off of that surgery, you know, my lungs were not back at the hundred percent. My body was not back at a hundred percent. So getting COVID was pretty darn bad. Um, This is actually my fifth time having COVID. And people say all the time, how in the world? And I'm like, (laughs) I have to explain to people that like, I'm a public speaker. And so I am always, always, always around a lot of people. And then when you are traveling, you're really around a lot of people. And so because of that, that is my job. That is how I get it. So when I'm at home and I'm not going anywhere, I'm not getting COVID, but when I'm going out, I get it. So anyways, uh, I just got over COVID last week. And so I'm saying all that as I preface this episode, because I understand that you have a lot going on. And so as I tell you the things that you need to be doing this month to have success, I recognize the busyness. Okay. I just have to say that. So one of the things to understand that is happening on social media is that people are being much more selective with their, with their time and their energy because people are super burnt out. Like the people that didn't recognize they were burnt out from 2020, 2021, it started to really have an impact on them in 22 and 23. And so now what people have been doing is really taking stock of what they are doing and what they are consuming. And so what, as it pertains to you is that if our content is not given them what it is they want to get. They're going away. They're not watching. They're not engaging. Okay. So, and then that's the same thing that goes for like the platforms. If people are not watching your content, then they're not going to keep pushing it out to people. Okay. So that's the first thing to understand that there is like this kind of social media recession where people are unfollowing more than they are following. You know, like my account on TikTok is constantly have like 
I mean, I easily will get probably 500 to 700 new followers a day, but I will get about 400 unfollows a day. So my numbers will go from 5047 to 5046 to 5047. To 5 it goes back and forth, but I can still see dozens and dozens and dozens of people are following like every single minute on the platform, okay? Because people that want to see me are seeing me. Those that don't want to see me are like, no, I don't want to see her, you know? So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing to note is that because of that, what has to happen is that we have to create better content. We have to create more high quality content, okay? Now, I, I'm not saying that it means you gotta get the latest iPhone or the newest Android or the newest DSLR camera. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that we have to put more thought and intention behind our content behind behind our videos. You know, I teach how you how to grow on Instagram and how to grow on TikTok, right? But guess what? My account has stalled like crazy on Instagram. And what I realized one of my problems was one, I was constantly filming in the same location, right? But what was also happening was that my content was stagnant for those people. Like, you know, I was teaching and teaching and teaching, but my audience, my my the people that will be interested in me are seeing everybody else teach in the same place in the same way and all that. And so there was nothing really differentiating me from other people. Okay. Both of us, all of us are putting out great content, but nothing was causing people to stop the scroll, watch all the way through, save, share. Nothing was giving people that type of energy because I wasn't putting that type of energy into my content. Right. And so what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks is doing lots and lots and lots of research and turn determining what are people really enjoying of my content? Like, okay. What are they engaging with the most? Two, what is causing us to generate the most leads and sales from that content? And how can we make more of that and be more creative and strategic with it every single day? Okay, so my number one tip of helping you to be able to get more views on your content in 2024, number one, stop filming in the same location in every single video. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you see me at my desk, you see shells behind me and a blue wall. I cannot continue to film in the same location every single time I have a video because it always looks the same, it feels the same, it doesn't make people see a different location. So what I have to do is, is that in this office that I have, my home office, I have to get it film here, I will film in my closet. I will film on the other wall. I will film on my patio. I'll go and film in my kitchen. I'll go and film in my bedroom. I'll film in my bathroom. I film in my car, right? And so I'm intentionally going like, okay, I'm gonna film five videos in my car, five videos in my closet, five videos, whatever, right? And then posting them out at different times in different locations. Even if I'm wearing the same shirt, it looks different because I'm in a different location. But strategically, Strategically, I don't do that. So number one, I make sure that you film in different locations. Number two, make sure you're filming in different clothing, okay? So here in this video, I'm wearing this red shirt that has like a thing around my neck and all that. This one's kind of hard to uh, layer, okay? But typically, if I'm doing a content batching day, I will wear a like a white shirt or I will gray or a black shirt and I will have a ton of camis or cover-ups that I can put on that makes my outfit look drastically different. I will also bring in multiple different necklaces from my jewelry thing or whatever. And then I'll change out the necklaces constantly, right? Because it makes the outfit look completely different. Now I know that you may say, well, good God, I'm just saying that if we're using organic marketing to generate leads and sales and want more views, then we have to do those things. So on those content batching days, I make sure I have two or three different uh, cover-ups that I'm going to wear. And I'll have two or three different uh, necklaces here in this room. That way when I'm filming, 
I'm changing all those things out because you want to give people, you know, something different. The third thing you want to do to get more views is you have got to get good with your hooks. Oh my God. If I don't say anything else with this video, this podcast episode, you have got to get great with your hooks because a hook is giving people the reason to stop and watch your video. It is what is happening within the first one to one and a half seconds of your video. Think about it this way. When you are scrolling, you're not giving people five, 10, 20, 30 seconds to decide if you're going to watch that entire video. No, you see, and either you scroll or you stay, you see, and either you scroll or you stay within a second. And that's the same thing you have to do with your content. Now, when it comes to hooks, we do have some free hooks. If you're interested, you can go to kenyakelly.com slash 75 hooks, kenyakelly.com slash 75 hooks. And I've got 75 free hooks for you. Uh, but all of those hooks are designed to give you a, give people a reason to stop, right? So some of my hooks would be, here's something, here's a, here's a, here's a tip to grow on TikTok that you may not know about. Here's a tip on what you can do to grow on Instagram. Five things that you need to do right now to make more money online. Here's how she made $2 million in the last 48 months. These, these opening lines that are telling people the story of this is why you should watch this particular video. Okay. A lot of times my hooks will be the text on screen, what I'll say, but also my opening like expression, how you are seeing me, the more that the moment that I open. Okay. And so those things are going to help you to get more views on your content, but you've got to be very intentional about this. Like in 2024, like creating lots of content, like posting three times a day, four or five, eight times a day, it's not working anymore. You have got to produce more high quality pieces of content in terms of the, the, the creation, the hook, you know, the storyline, the story you're telling, you know, your CTA and the quality of what people are experiencing in the actual video. Video, okay. Because we are all selfish. We're selfish with our times and you have to understand that your viewer is selfish with their time. And so you have to respect that. You have to respect their time with what you're doing in your, in your video. Okay. Another thing you want to do uh, to get more views on your videos is you want to think about what is relevant right now in your niche. Like what is hot right now? So this uh, episode is out right before the Super Bowl. So it's really important to go, okay, who's performing at the Super Bowl? Usher. Maybe you can do some things around Usher. Of course you can do things around Taylor Swift because why? Taylor is going to be at the Super Bowl with a boyfriend. So here's these like creative things you can do and make them relevant around you and your business. Now, like a lot of times I'll see Taylor and Kelsey, you know, kiss after a Super Bowl, after a game or whatever, I'll find images of them and I'll turn them into memes and post them right then and there because that's a moment in time when it is super hot. And guess what happens? I get way more con views on my content because I was strategic and intentional about what is happening right now. So it would be in your best interest to watch the Super Bowl and see what happens. Be on social media during the Super Bowl and seeing what is happening on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok especially, and then take some of those creative things that are happening, things you're seeing people post and see how can you utilize them for yourself? Like the Grammys, I think that's the Grammys is today. Um, th there's things going on with the Grammys. How can you do things that are related to the Grammys or what have you? Okay. So ultimately what I'm saying here is this. If you're going to get more views on your content in 2024, you have got to be way more intentional, way more strategic and respectful of your viewer. Okay. Because bad content is going to flop. Good content is going to get more views, saves and shares. And ultimately it's going to help you to be able to grow and build your business. Now, if you are someone and you're saying that I need help with this, we have launched a program that's called implement, where we're going to be teaching you and walking with you and implementing with you on on yep, building your marketing funnel as well as your content to generate more leads and sales. Implement is open right now. If you are interested, you can go to kenyakelly.com slash implement, kenyakelly.com slash implement, and the link will be down below uh, where you can uh, join us on the inside of this program. Okay, so thank you so much for listening and watching. Thanks for listening to the Ken Kelly Podcast. I'm always honored and thankful each time you choose to download 
download and listen to an episode of this podcast, but also when you choose to share it with a friend. Because one of the things that I know is that when I was building my business, it was so important for me to be surrounded by like-minded people. And so when you choose to share our content with your friends, it allows them to be in our space as well, where we can nurture and mentor them as well. And we can just make some new friends. So if you wouldn't mind sharing, I would appreciate it so very much. But in addition to that, if you would do us a huge favor by writing a review and giving us five stars, it's going to tell Spotify, iTunes, and all the places that people are enjoying this podcast and that they should share it with more people. And so please share, please write a review, and thank you so much for listening.